earlier on in the Trader Evolution series, when I was talking about investor leverage, I used a dashboard on the DoorNX platform to show how key information could be obtained to assist with the calculation. What I didn't do was talk about any of the additional functionality of this performance fees dashboard. Today, I look into these features in some detail, and I hope that you'll agree with me when I say these provide an incredible amount of intelligence and forecasting to any strategy provider or fund manager on the DarwinX platform. DarwinX is a UK FCA regulated broker and asset manager on a mission to disrupt the financial trading, investing and asset management industries. If you're a talented trader looking to attract investor capital to your strategies, DarwinX is the fastest way for you to do this. We enable traders to raise third party investor capital and then charge success fees on high watermark profits. Additionally, DarwinX itself invests in its traders with our seed capital allocation program that allocates up to 90 million euros per year in successful trading strategies. So if all of that sounds interesting, learn more by clicking on the link here, or you can find further links in the description right below. Now back to today's tutorial. So let's get straight into it and take a look at the performance fees dashboard. So once again, this is accessed from the asset management tab and then the performance fees tab on the left. And you'll remember that the figure that we used in our calculation for investor leverage last time was this one here, the estimated performance fees for the next three months. And as I said last time, this is a figure that will continually change. And fortunately for me, this has gone up since we recorded that last episode. So let's take a look around here now. If we look at the next metric, which is the performance fees pending payment, the way that the platform works is that you'll see a calendar of all of the payments that are due to be made into your wallet based on the success fees from investors. And when any particular day is reached, the value will be removed from here and then we'll go into the performance fees pending value here, which should then be paid into your wallet in the next two or three days. Then you've got a representation of the assets under management that you currently have, and this is directly from third party investment. Below that, you have a representation of your Darwinia allocation. And for those of you that are not aware, Darwinia is the monthly trading contest run by DarwinX. And the best 120 strategies on the platform receive a seed capital investment from DarwinX ourselves. And this provides an excellent opportunity to give traders the experience of managing third party capital prior to gaining full third party investments. And from a psychological point of view, this helps to get the trader into the right mindset to do that. So we've then got a representation of the number of investors, the average entry quote for those investors, and the current quote, what this Darwin is currently trading at. Now in the calendar that you see on the right here, you can click on any of these entries to get a breakdown of which investors those success fees are coming from. And then any values that you see in green represent the earnings from the Darwinia allocation. So here you can see that at the top in conjunction with two investor payments on that same day. So let's turn our attention to this area on the right here. I think of this as an impact analysis tool. What's the impact going to be if I am able to increase the quote value of the Darwin? Now, let's say that I'm able to increase this by 1%. So as you can see, the estimated performance fees that I'm going to be paid at the moment is just a little under 4,700. But if I was able to increase my Darwin's value by 1%, this is the impact that it would have. I'd effectively increase my performance fees by around a thousand pounds. 
and of course you can also choose levels above this. But what it also enables you to do is consider the impact if the quote now begins to fall and the account goes into drawdown. And so if I lost 1% of the value of the Darwin, again, you can see what the impact of that would be on your fees. So what you have here is an excellent tool to help you forecast your earnings. And so this is looking to the future. The section below, however, here, is looking at historical values, what you've already achieved. And then under that, you have a detailed breakdown investor by investor. So the top entry here for me is the Darwinia allocation. And here I can see that I've managed to increase the value of that by 32,000 euros. At the high watermark, that represented an increase of 5.34%. And here I can see details of the success fees. So I've already received £1,900 for this particular Darwin. And at the current quote price, I can see that £2,100 is going to be paid to me. But as I said before, that can change depending on the performance of the Darwin between now and that payment date on the 1st of December. And then underneath that, you can see a list of the other investors sorted by the amount of investment they have in this particular Darwin. And it's exactly the same. You've got the high watermark, you've got the current profit that has been made for those investors and information about the fees. And if you prefer, you can get the payment dates from the right hand side here, but these are exactly the same as those that appear in the calendar. So I hope you agree with me that this is a really powerful tool to help you forecast your earnings over the next three months. Next time we continue our journey of trader evolution. Be sure to tune into that if the episode's already available. You'll see it top right now. But now until next time, trade safe.